Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatter Day Night Live. I was about to say, hey, it's Little Boy Blue here on the streets of Inkopolis. Congratulations to Kevin over He got S rank and he drew a little face. Thank you guys for joining me. Stinky. This is another stream that we're doing, a weekly stream, of course, Splatter Day or Saturday. And tonight, it's the return of the dreaded bento splat charger but this time around we are going to be using the splatter scope version i'm going to warm up with just the normal charger and we'll buy the splatter scope after this i kind of want to get used to uh using the charger again here i haven't played with it for uh a week or so so let's get warmed up i was asking the chat already you got a bunch of you guys hanging out in the chat asking you guys what you want to see first there was a lot of splat zones and i think it was maybe Bluefin was the the map I saw a little bit. I'll let you guys, you know, chime in for the map, but we're going to start with Splat Zones. Look at that. We already filled up. Good, good, good. So this is a fresh set of weeks here. I mentioned last time I'm going to do a, uh, a friends list for about two weeks. I actually have some spots open if people want to add me. It's Swimmy Bird with a Y. You can see at the top if you want to play Splatoon. What's the, uh, what's the map going to be here? And we're going to see what people want to see black belly okay we could do that that would be a good one and uh let me find it here one of the earlier maps there it is it's actually the one that's going right now in tower control and then uh here we go we'll randomize the teams and get into it uh but yeah so my plan is with these streams is that every two weeks i clear out my friends list and a bunch of you guys can join in you know People are returning, you might recognize some of the faces here, or some of the names, like Uncle O3, Alpha Star, Agent Splat. I've seen a lot of these guys already, and they just added me again when, you know, the time was right. So that's all you gotta do, and I do have some spots open, so I think I can fill in some more people after the stream today. But I do two weeks of the same 100 Squid Kids, and then I clear it out, and I just cleared it out this weekend for a fresh couple of weeks here, a fortnight, or whatever. And, uh, yeah, so we got a bunch of new people in. Nice balanced team for uh, for the Alpha Squad here at the top, with one Charger, a couple shooters, and then Uncle Rock and the Ink Brush, taking after you know his uh, his buddy here. But I'm using the Charger, <laughs> so I'll see how we do. Let's get into the first match here, and then I'm right in the front. Got my bandana, and then I'm gonna go buy the Splatter Scope if I don't forget, and hopefully do okay with that. I'm not I'm not uh, looking too forward to using the scope version because I feel like I already have a tough time as it is using the charger here try to watch the sides and watch that little kid coming around the bend with his his uh oh somebody get him somebody's gonna help me maybe oh no I'm getting ganged up on okay somebody saved me it might have been uncle I think I saw a brush we're both jumping we like high-fived in the air uncle good job there buddy he uh he jumped back with me See if we can cover the zone and stop whoever's over there. Jeez, good thing I've got this uh, this nice bomb sniffer to help me out a little bit. Oh nope. <laughs> well, I was gonna say my bomb sniffer and my wall helping me avoid that stuff, but on unfortunately not gonna save me from uh, from one of those inkzukas. See if I can kind of slow me in. The yellow team started out a little slower at first, and then they kind of barraged in. They're doing a really good job at just making it so tough for us here to even get towards the zones. Throw one of those down there to cover my other side. See if we can kind of get this going. I'll throw an echolocator out there for my buddies as well. We got a bucket on their side. Ooh, careful now. Oh, well, whoever that was, I scared them with my sniping skills. I scared them into completely disconnecting. You probably saw that puff of, uh, of inkling right before our eyes. It was like a magic trick. They disappeared. So unfortunately, it looks like they lost somebody. That's gonna make it rough for the yellow team here to actually do much, but hopefully they won't begrudge us a win. I gotta try to snipe somebody if I can. Oh, they got an Inkzuka. I'm backing up and there. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I might have had him there, but that was me getting splat. Man, who is that little kid? zipping around there all fast they got run speed up and stuff okay but yeah so right now we're in ranked battles but we will transition into some squads here eventually or ranked not ranked battle we're in 
a ranked mode, Splat Zones, of course, but we're in private battles. This is actually pretty close, considering if we lost somebody, it'd probably be about even. But uh, seems like they're they're pretty good here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to take this still, despite everything. Let's see if I can kind of clear this out and get a little closer. This is very risky, especially with that guy. He popped up right. <laughs> Maxi, yeah, he's really good. Look at all that run speed. He's swimming really fast, too. But the run speed definitely helping him with that Octo Shot. Uh, but yeah, so... We're gonna try to do a bunch of private battles is my goal for most of these streams, because it allows more of you guys to, uh, to get in on things. Try to cover the one side and look out for that little barrel boy going by. Oh! Almost hit him there, but... Oh no, he's, he's freaking out in front of me, and then somebody else got him. <laughs> I think he was wanting to be sniped, but unfortunately, I didn't even get that snipe. Alright, we're kind of coming back. Man, this is tough, considering the fact that uh, they lost a player. We're still not doing the best here. Where's that guy going? I saw him. Oh, don't get up on that ledge. Oh, there he is! Ah, jeez, <laughs> burst bombs and everything. I gotta warm up here, Agent Nader with the uh, with the charger if I'm gonna do anything. I really need to get used to sniping again. I took a break, you guys saw, you know, we had the normal bento, the one that I'm using right now. I did use that for a little bit, and then I took a break for a week, we kinda traded off. I did one match with the old uh, bento though, and we still did okay, considering, but yeah, I need a lot of practice with sniping. I make it a little, a little safer for me, if I can. Let's see if we can. Get somebody here. Nope, that's not gonna work. Oh no, I'm I'm in a bad way. <laughs> Agent Splat trying to help me out, but I'm in a rough spot here. I don't know if I should move too close there. I can't slow him down. Oh my gosh. What if I just go back to the spawn? And then I can easily snipe someone who goes around right now. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna make the zone tough to get if I'm hiding at spawn, trying to use that in invincibility. I got a bunch of splat walls here. Where are they? I know they're around there somewhere still. They're gonna sneak up on me as soon as I try to go for the zone. Or are they? Let's see. I'm trying to play cautiously here, but also we gotta get this zone covered. And do our best to... Nope. <laughs> Every time I try to move in, Maxie's just really locking down that side. We're starting to gain it back. We might actually lose this, and I think they lost someone. It might be because the people on their side are just ranked a little better and more experienced at the game. Uh, I was trying to throw that down and get get that covered, but unfortunately, it wasn't in the cards. All right, well, we have we kind of warmed up a little bit with the charger. At least we didn't get knocked out. And I'm gonna switch to the splatter scope. The scope has a little bit of, uh, a little bit extra rain. Yeah, I, I died a bunch and did not quite get the, uh, any any splats with that, but it's, it's a learning process. The, the chargers are my worst weapon by far. So I gotta, you know, keep playing until I get good with them. So let's get the ch the scope. The scope gives you a little bit of range and kind of zooms your focus in. Unfortunately, that also makes it a little tougher with seeing what's going on around you. Somebody can sneak up on you easy. I feel like that happens to me a lot anyway, so this might be kind of tough. Here we go. And as you can see, before your eyes magically, blam, it's got the scope. It's uh, identical other than that, so there we go. We're gonna equip it. We got the echo locator and the splash wall for special and sub, and we're gonna get a fresh group of squid kids in here. Uh, so, what other modes and maps? I did see some Rainmaker, uh, kind of outnumbering tower control. If we jump into normal ranked or squad battles, it will be tower control for a little while longer here. So let's make a new group and get some more people in. Kevin says, "Don't worry, Adam. The instincts will kick in." Yeah, Mike. My killer instincts, my ink lust, <laughs> will uh, will kick in, and I'll I'll start doing better. Hopefully, here I'm just getting used to playing again, especially with a different different style of weapon than I'm used to. So Rainmaker, and then what is the uh, what's the map we're gonna do here? Uh, ch ch Bluefin Depot. Okay, we'll try that. It's not one of my favorite. I think it is not. It's not a bad map, but for some reason, I tend to gravitate towards the maps that. I like the look of a look, like Black Belly and Trigger Camp Triggerfish. I don't know if, I, like Bluefin, I think part of the reason I, it's not one of my favorite maps is because it's a rusty old depot. 
It's it's not the best looking. Oh, ooh, we got two Octo Brushes on our team. And large fries with the splash matic We'll see how we do here. And uh, got some, yeah, some faces like Sophie. I think she hasn't played in a little bit, but I, I saw her jump in on the friends list in the last second, you know, before the stream was getting started. So she's in here playing again. I'm starting to learn a lot of the squid kids out there that, that play a lot. Okay, let's see if we can use the double octo brush strat. Well, we've got a permanent ink brush that we're going against. So I gotta be careful. So obviously, yeah, as you can see, the splatter scope is uh is gonna give me that toothpaste. The scope, no. We're gonna get the extra zoom in and there we go. Well, that uh did work out okay for me. Trying to go around and uh I don't know if the extra range is helping me that much, but we'll see here. There goes a little squid kid trying to brush his way around. He was over there, where'd he go? There's someone over there. Yeah, I have to learn the extra range to see if it's really gonna help me much, but we'll see here. Nope, <laughs> I couldn't get out of that in time. Jeremy, crazy with that grim range blaster. Look at that damage up. I'm, I'm curious if that helps the grim range blaster a little bit, because I think that was one of the issues that I had with it. I did use that a little while back. That was, uh, I think that was also in, in volume two. That was like the poster child of Volume 2 of, uh, of Sheldon's picks. If we got this guy coming over up the side. Oh, where is he? Somebody going around the other way? Not really sure. Let's uh, let's get this going here. Okay, somebody got him. Someone's flipping out as well. There's a killer whale coming through. And tracking that squid kid over there. I can't quite reach that, unfortunately, though. A little too far. I'll just try to put some ink around here and... Uh, get this going. Where are they going to? Oh! Ah! Whoa, that was close. I think the Rainmaker almost got me there, but I was kind of trying to look and snipe into that ink on the side. Oh no! I'll throw that out and get out of the way, because they're going around. Can they get up on that side? I can't remember. Let's see here. Oh, we got a Kraken. Okay, I'm going to jump and get out of here before the Kraken comes after me. Kraken's just kind of like, where'd he go? Where's that streamer? All right. They're getting close here, so we gotta be careful now. Oh, I can't quite hit over there. Let me see if I can throw one of these down and try to help my buddies out. There we go. They're all pushing in. Come on. They're all in one line, so it shouldn't be as tough as it is to uh, to hit somebody. All right, I think we're good now. We got the Rainmaker. Try to cover our tracks here a little bit and look out. There is another sniper on their side that I haven't been, uh, that I haven't really been at odds with too much. Oh, almost! Ah, I did hit really close to him, but it wasn't quite enough to get Jeremy in time. He's so fast. All right. He's got that glowy Super Saiyan hair. Go, go, go. They're taking it. We got it. We're going around the other side. I don't know if it's gonna, gonna work out for us, but I'm gonna try to help my buddies out here. Jeez, they're everywhere. Come on. Oh, jump for your life. Oh, okay. Hopefully no one sneaks around. There goes that kid. There we go. Finally got him. All right, now unfortunately, there's no one down there to grab that. I don't know if that would be the best thing for me to do when I'm all on my own here. I want to get my buddies in with me. Oh, nope, nope, nope. That's a bad spot. I'm really in trouble. Nope. <laughs> I, I knew as soon as I fell that I was going to get taken out, and Sophie got me, so she's the enemy sniper. Okay, let's see. I at least uh, I managed to get, I think, two splats so far, which I'm pretty happy with. Did he get through already? He's almost up here. Ooh, get out! Get out! And, okay, somebody else got him. Good, good, good. Thank you, whoever that was. I need to get my wall down in a better spot to help out my buddy here. Let's see if I can get in there and try to help hide a little bit. Go, go, go. Ooh, jeez. Are they coming around this other side, though? That's the big question. Where are they gonna pop out? They're going after the Rainmaker, so I'm not as vulnerable as I could be here, but I'm still pretty vulnerable if they come back after me. A little bit more, uh, a little bit more, and I'll have my echolocator. Is that gonna happen? Oh, yeah, I got him. Okay, good. I should have popped that echolocator. I'm trading with Jeremy a little bit more often than I thought I would, so I'm a little happy about that because I know Jeremy's good. It can just you can sense it. 
when he's using that Grim Range Blaster like crazy. Okay, that <laughs> little Link Brush. The little Link Brush that could. I don't know if I can actually get into a good spot to, uh, jeez. Is Jeremy shooting all the way that far from where he's at? There we go. Got him again. Oh, no, that was Small Fry. Oh, they're in a, they're in a spot where this is going to be very tough for me. Oh, <laughs> I got Small Fry, but then Jeremy, like the Velociraptor, swoops around the side and takes me out. He's just beast with those burst bombs. Pretty, uh, pretty back and forth match there, but unfortunately, didn't quite have the distance. Good on you, purple team. You guys helped me actually get some splats. And, uh, we tried our best. Okay, let me see. I think I got at least three, maybe four. Which is pretty good for my standards of sniping. Yeah, four! Okay. I almost had an even splats to sploops ratio there. Alright. So, uh, what, what mode and map we want to see, guys? I'm going to jump out again, get a new group. You can see a bunch of them already. <laughs> They're, like, anticipating the next uh, match, so they all ju jumped in. And if you're enjoying the stream, you want to leave a like. I always forget to mention that in the uh, in the streams, but if you want to leave a like or a thumbs up, then I appreciate that a lot. All right, so probably tower control we should do. I saw some people people mentioning that earlier, and I think it's, uh, yeah, it's the other ranked mode that we haven't done, so we should do that. And then what's a good map? I'm going to see. Kevin says, good snipes. Thank you, buddy. Uh, Urchin Underpass says, Me Weird Sheep, we'll go, we'll go with that. I think it's right at the beginning of the list, the original stage. Tower Control Urchin says, Ian, alright. Pretty good luck there, because that's exactly what we're doing. And a couple names here I haven't recognized before, Wild and Starstorm. Mr. Cheese kind of sounds familiar. I don't remember if he was in Smash. I'm, I'm gonna try to stick with the bento the whole night here, because that's, that's how I learn and how I get better, is just, you know, playing until I can do all right. That's how I've handled most of the uh, the Sheldon's Picks weapons in the past, if you guys have watched any of the videos we've done. But uh, I've got a few left, you know, this, this and the Heavy Splatling Remix are the last two unfinished Sheldon's Picks Volume 2 weapons that I still have to cover at one point or another, so I'm gonna gonna do them in streams, I think. That way you guys can help me get better, because so many of you are so good at this game. All right. I did, you know, I am in S rank now, so I'm not, I'm not any slouch at Splatoon, but I also don't play that frequently, so it's a little, a little tough. I always have that, that, uh, that warm-up period where I have to get back into the game, especially with a weapon like this, but, uh, doing all right. Did you, I don't know if you guys caught the, uh, I did a, actually a non-stream Splatoon video earlier this week. Did you guys see the 2.12 update? I'm sure if you're playing right now, you must know about it because you had to update to play online. But uh, 2.12, kind of a minor update, and not the uh, not the biggest thing. But also, it was important at the same time because we had to fix some uh, some little issues here. So I can stop that guy. There we go. Um, the bent the the splat or was it splash wall? Not splat. The splash wall has actually been pretty useful here to, uh, man, this is not a good spot for me. The splash wall has been pretty useful for getting the, getting, uh, people locked in a little bit, or at least, you know, throwing it down so that they have to go to a certain spot. Where is the tower? Are we still riding it? It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's over there. Okay, let me back up a little bit. Try to make sure no one's sneaking around on us, but also... Try to cover the tower best I can. Mm. Throw that down. I'm trying to... Oh, nope! <laughs> I was like, hey, is that my buddy? No, that's not my buddy brush. I love the brush, but I also fear it. Okay. Oh, but yeah, the 2.12 update came out this week. It was two bug fixes. One of them relates to tower control. You were able to uh, to kind of glitch out. If you did miss that video, I can kind of sum it up really quick. But the, uh, the tower, you could put a sprinkler in the tower, which is not intended, putting it inside the tower, and it was a uh, kind of a cheap way. Ooh, that Kraken. That might be the person that I splatted before, so they might be a little, little, ooh, jump, get out of there. Can I stop him in, in time if he's going around? He's going that way. Here he goes. He's trying to get in on me. Let's see if I can stop him. Nope. There he is! Ah! <laughs> well, we're just, like, playing around in the corner while the tower's going. Uh, but yeah, so, glitching sprinklers into the tower. Big no-no. They fixed that, because that was a big deal. You could get into, I guess, uh, from what I heard, you could get into a really good spot where if 
the other team jumped on, there was an invincible sprinkler that would just kind of splat them really quickly as soon as they got in there, so not the best idea. Man, Bubbler is so good. It feels like it's very tough to actually knock it back at all. Jeez. <laughs> I instinctually did a booyah to tell people, but hopefully most of my team knows that they're all over the place over there. And then the other bug was on Kelp Dome in all the different modes, and that was to, uh, it's green on it. Okay, I was gonna say, usually the beacon of the tower is whatever team, but it looked like it was green, and then the green team is not, wasn't on it at the point. So yeah, Kelp Dome, they fixed a thing with the starting platforms where it was very, uh, very, another no-no where you could glitch into, oh man, I wanted to go up there. It, you could glitch into the starting platform, especially when it was raised, was not a good thing, because then you get into the starting area or hide in there and stuff like that. So just big bug fixes that were important to get fixed, and uh, I'm not in a good spot here, am I? Let's see if I can kind of at least get in on the tower. If not, try to help out. There's probably going to be a little squit. Man, now I can't get anywhere here, and I'm in a bad way. Try to run, turn around and throw that out, but that's not going to work, is it? I'm in a bad, <laughs> I'm in a really bad spot here. <laughs> it just went into the green ink, and uh, are they around? I got a buddy here helping me out, but our tower is nowhere to be found, so it's not a good, not a good thing. Let's just get out of here and try to get this. Ooh, almost. Try to get that carbon roller. Oh nope, they got their, <laughs> they got their inkzuka. I went so far, I was kind of expecting the tower to be going around, and I wanted to hitch, hitch a ride on it when it got close enough for me to actually get to it. Ooh, now they're getting close. And they got beacons on the tower. There's a beacon. That wasn't a person, un unfortunately. And somebody might be sneaking around here. Yep, they are. I could kind of tell they were getting close and trying to, uh, to get into a good spot to... Stop the old, uh, the old defense of the tower here. All right, let me see. Can I bounce that? Nope, not quite. Not quite there. Ooh, get out of there. Ooh. The Inksuka. The Inksuka. So scary. Let's see if we can get... Yeah, this is going to be tough to get this carbon roller. They're jumping all over the place. Maybe I can do this, though. Oh, nope. <laughs> Somebody else got him first. Oh, no. This is so close here. In the end, is that carbon roller still around? They are. Ah, I really wanted to get them. They were so squirrely. Look at them there, with their cute little hat. All right. So yeah, the uh, the developers still putting out updates. We won. Uh, the the developers are still patching out issues. And I heard there's there's some Rainmaker stuff they might try to fix here because you can glitch on on uh, tr Camp Triggerfish. You can kind of glitch into a bad spot or to kind of camp the Rainmaker a little bit, so maybe they'll fix that. All right, so let's get a new team here. I think my my gear setup, I like, I got like Ink Saver Sub and some stuff on there. Maybe I should be running some damage up. I'll have to ask some of the Charger players out there in the chat to uh, to chime in, because yeah, I don't know. I think it would with the changes to the Chargers that we've had over the updates, I think it's the damage up is mostly for when you're doing like close range quick shots, but I'm not sh certain for sure. All right, Echo says, great matches so far, Adam. I only got one splat in that one, but I am progressing, <laughs> thank you. And uh, yeah, they fi Alpha Star says, the lobbies fill up so fast. Yeah, they get full really quick, but that's try why I try to do a bunch of these matches. So splat zones on, a couple of people want Kelp Dome. Let me find it here, there we go. All right, this is the map, the map that they just fixed that glitch on. And I got a good team here, I think. Let's see. And then, uh, oh, Genji Dude says, are you gonna add more people? If there are more friend requests, I could dip out after this and just check. If you guys remind me, I'll try to do that. But uh, but the, the process that I try to use is, uh, so if you wanna add me for either Splatoon or Smash Brothers, that's actually different different friend lists. So Splatoon is this one with Swimmy Bird with a Y, and Smash is Swimming Bird 941 the channel name. And if you do want to add me, please put either Splatoon or Smash in the the friend request and that way I know that you're uh, you're watching or you're, you know, it's not just a random request. You actually want to play those games. So there we go. 
All right. Let's see here. We got Octobrush to deal with. We got Metaton. He's going to sing while they take us out. We are in Splat Zone, so... I need to really learn the good sniping spots on this map, because I have uh, never been that great on this map. That's for sure, but, uh, but also, I don't know uh, the best spots a lot of the time to hide in or where to try to get around. I just saw somebody get splatted there. I saw the Booyah, so I figure they're uh, looking to get some revenge with that Booyah. I, I can kind of get through some of those. I just really need to know where to look through the grates and also where to avoid whoever's there. They're trying to... Oh! <laughs> Man, we keep witnessing people uh, getting the dreaded poof of death where they just disconnect and, uh, and disappear, unfortunately. So I'll throw that down to try to cover my rump. Nope! Ooh! Let's be careful now. Probably not the best place to hide over here because everyone goes there to, uh, or shoots there at least. Anyone around? They should be shooting the other way and not that way. I'm trying to cover, cover some spots here. Let's see, get the zone. There's actually, I can see why so many people use chargers on this map though, because you can really cover a lot of the zone with the charger, even the normal one, you know, the splat charger and not the E-leader. So it is a, seems like a pretty good choice for ink and turf. There we go. Oh, tried to get that guy. Oh man, we uh, we got away, but Preston with a phantom splat. You know, sometimes playing online that'll happen where I'm like, I thought I moved, but yeah. Oh, we're taking the lead. Okay. I uh, not using the splash wall as much as I could, but I'm trying to sometimes put it in a spot where it might save me or cover my back a little bit. Okay, let's get our ink built up a little bit here for when people try to come around and uh, get in there with their bomb rushes like they like to do here. Where are they going? Oh, here comes someone. Can I? Almost. Oh, gotta get those twitch shots. Somebody hiding around here. They are. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. And then are they gonna sneak around? Nope, there they are. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Man. I had one shot. I missed it. I got one shot and I mom spaghetti. All right, let's see if I can get in there. We're still winning though. I think my team's pretty good. My team here is uh, pulling some extra weight, but I'm actually getting get, getting uh, a couple splats. So I'm happy about that. Let's see if I can kind of set up my back to protect myself and look out. There's somebody trying to get the glory of the old swimmy splat. Oh no, don't jump up there. Somebody going around and let's see if we can cover this zone. I almost have my echolocator. If I'm gonna die, I want my buddies to have an echolocator to help them out. And then, are they going up top? Just saw someone. Saw someone going around the top. Running out of, running out of ink though. Ah, oh, jeez. Clipped me from behind the billboard. It was Preston again, I think, right? Yeah. All right. This, uh, this map, yeah, I should probably try to switch up different areas and practice being in different sniping spots, especially when someone knows that I'm right there, but, uh, let's see here. This is, this is the spot where everyone knows where you're there, you know? They know when you're trying to hide in here. And you gotta be careful not to let them just, yeah, it's, it's kind of out in the open. It's just really easy to see. Probably shouldn't be being this aggressive and moving in, but I'm gonna try to push in, because we are, we are in the lead here. Where are they? Just saw some. Oh, they're right there. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go, buddy? Where did he go? There's someone around that side, and someone just with an ink zuka over there, and man, and I gotta hide. I'm just like in a weird spot here. I don't know how I'm living as long as I am, because I'm not in a good way. Hey, buddy. Nope, so close. Nope. Ah, <laughs> I popped that Golokair just because I was like, see ya, if I'm losing it, I'm using it. Metaton, are we standing still? That's the sign of a potential disconnect. I, I've heard the, somebody warned me, they were saying, uh, hey, you better not splat tonight. No, they were saying uh, the internet, a lot of people were talking about on Miiverse that the internet, is, maybe Nintendo stuff, is uh, being a little weird tonight. And I don't know 
if that's uh, just a rumor and it's confirmation bias since we've had some disconnects, but supposedly things are being a little weird. So I don't know. Could be that. We'll see. We might have dropped somebody. I think we, we had at least one. I, I saw the puff of smoke. They keep, they keep uh, I like look at them and it's like Medusa where they poof into s to smoke and disconnect. We got two, two splats, not too bad. Preston with the 14, jeez. One for every day of the friends list that you can be on before I clear it out. All right, and then let's get a new, new group in here and trying to get some fresh people in. Here we go. Oh wait, I was gonna do the friends list. Hold on, hold on. I gotta jump out of here real quick. And uh, let me see if I can get to my friends list and check and see if we uh, if we got anybody new real quick. Oh, we got, jeez. Oh, this always happens, I'll put out the tweet. I know a lot of you guys probably don't either use Twitter or follow me on Twitter. And if there is a link to the Twitter in the description, it's at SwimmingBird941. But the big thing is that uh, I do tweet out before I stream for you to add if you want to jump in here. But as soon as the stream's actually going, this is when the the uh, the just downpour. See, so this is uh, I guess I'll just add you, Willy N Willy Tendo. But I want to you know have people mention Splatoon in the friend request. There we go, like this guy here, Kid Pixel. But yeah, as soon as we start to stream, I mention it. That's when everyone's like, oh, he's doing it right now. Got to jump in. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let anyone who added me during this time get off with a you know hey at put Splatoon in the friend request next time. So here we go. We got Splatter Night Night Live. That's good enough. Just some type of indicator that you're here to play Splatoon is what I would like to see in these friend requests. But we're gonna just add everyone who added me here. Just you know, since they're already here, and I know you're probably watching. I don't know if I can get through all of these guys, though, because we do have a limit on friends, and I also want to get back into matches, obviously. You know, don't want to slow things down too much. I did this in Smash last time. And uh, speaking of that, we will have a Smash Brothers stream tomorrow night, so if you want to watch that, definitely jump in. I, I think it's time to, to clear out the Smash friends list as well, so I will tweet out when that's happening. We're getting friend requests as I do this, so I don't know if I'll be able to get everybody. But we'll get back into a match in just a second here. This is a time for me to be able to look at the uh, the chat as well, since I'm blindly tapping. No, <laughs> I'm able to you know tap these and do it very quickly here, so I can keep an eye on the chat. Jaden says thanks, Adam. No problem, buddy. I want to get as many of you guys in here and have a chance to play as possible. I appreciate everybody joining in. It makes these more exciting. It makes me better at the game when I have you guys to play with because. I can do all these private matches where I don't risk losing my rank or, or anything like that, and I can practice with a weapon, like the bento splatter scope, and not be shamed and laughed out of ranked mode. No, I just yeah, it's very tough to to play a weapon that you don't know how to play very well. When uh, oh, Cody, I recognize him. He was at Camp Fan Gamer, the convention I went to recently. Uh, but yeah, it's tough to play a weapon you're not used to and jump into S rank or even A or anything. It's like you're you're jumping into the frying pan and trying to dance around. All right, that's not the that's not the same, but close enough. All right, me weird sheep says you're doing really good with the charger. Thank you, buddy. I feel like I have a lot a lot of room to grow, <laughs> but I'm doing my best. All right, and how many more? Do, I think we're getting down to the the last few, so I'm just gonna add as many as I can here since we're already doing it, and then we'll jump back into the matches. Clark is currently watching. Thank you, Clark. And uh, Cyber Turtle wants to see uh, Rainmaker. We could do that for a robotic turtle out there. Would we just we just did Splat Zone, so let's do, the Rainmaker is up next anyway. So what map do you guys want to see as we're getting, getting ready to start that match up? And uh, a lot of people excited that they got added. Okay, cool. We got so many new faces, too. I don't recognize a lot of you guys from your screen names, but I will learn them if you're playing. And having, oh, my friends list is full. Okay, I'm sorry, that's maxed out, but you know, these four people, they're the top of the list in my request. I still have a, or, uh, now 96 spots on the friend requests that I can add. So those are gonna be the next people, and anyone who adds me at this point forward, at swim, you know, Swimmy Bird is the Nintendo Network ID for, uh, for the, Splatoon stuff. So if you want to add me, add that Nintendo Network ID, say Splatoon in the request, 
and I will add you as long as you do that. And then, uh, so yeah, everyone who gets, who adds that request, or sends that request now is going to be on the next list to be added, because I am maxed out, unfortunately. Okay, so what are the maps we're going to do here? Let me, let me see. Uh, Rainmaker and Moray Towers. Okay, we can do that. Let me find it. It's one of the last ones, right? Or actually, it was, uh, it's, that was, I, I remember that was like a mind-blowing map in a way when it got added, because that was one of the, the bigger map, I think it might have been the first map that either wasn't in single player as a stage and wasn't shown early on, because I think we, we got a glimpse of Camp Triggerfish early on in trailers and stuff, and so this, I think Moray Tower is somebody who can remember the history of Splatoon might be able to correct me. But Mori Towers, in my memory, it was, like, teased in that first Splatfest trailer. We saw the little kid, like, at night walking up the ramp, and nobody even knew what map that was at the time. But, yeah, it was it was such a big, big uh, reveal, because this map, if you, you know, compared to the first handful of maps that we had, this is, like, a crazy departure. If you see, like, how, yeah, how many different towers and the, the verticality of this thing, it, it's definitely... Let's not get close to there. There might be an E-leader. We probably have a lot of people using the old snipings, because, uh, got that sprinkler. Showed that sprinkler who's boss. Uh, we got a lot of people using sniping weapons, because it is that sort of map here. Let's see if we can try to stop these guys. They're putting that sprinkler there as a, uh, a lure. But yeah, we got a couple chargers here that are all vying for vying for the Rainmaker. I'm running out. <laughs> well, <laughs> run out of ink and then I got hit. Custom E-Leader 3K Scope. So the 3K Scope is, I think, the longest ranged weapon in the game. Because it's the 3K and it has the scope on it, giving it that little boost of, re of uh, range. This is the time now where I gotta be careful to even get anywhere close down there or they're gonna get me. Let's see if we can... Oh man, this other team seems like they might have a rank advantage over our team, because they seem like they know what they're doing really well. Okay, somebody got them. Let's try to clear the, the way here. Somebody's about to jump through, and I gotta be careful though. I might get sniped no matter where I am. That was not a person. That was a sprinkler. Oh, thought I would have gotten the guy there, but nope. Where are they? They're everywhere. It's very tough to know where I need to be watching a lot of the time when we got people sniping. We got people on the ground. The life of a charger is fraught with peril. Let's see if we can start this going here. Especially when, yeah, I can, when I can be outranged by the, uh, the charger on the other team, there's at least one of them, it does feel like I'm going to be in a, in a bad way if I get anywhere within the the range of that thing, since they're probably much better at sniping than I am. Let's see if we can get in here and stop somebody before that, that E-leader comes back. This is like the worst spot to hang out in, unfortunately, because the E-leader knows exactly where people are going to be. So we can get one of those down there to slow them down. And we had so many, had so many, uh, so many things I was targeting and tracking. So that, try to turn around here. Okay, we stopped him. Just barely. Get this going. There we go. I wonder if I could be the Rainmaker boy. Nope. <laughs> ja Whoever that was, they stopped my dream of being the Rainmaker boy. The official title. Or Rainmaker, Rainmaker gal or Rainmaker boy. Whichever one you want to be in your heart, you can be it if you grab the Rainmaker. But sometimes... Another Rainmaker boy or Rainmaker gal takes that glory away from you, and it's sad. Okay, let's see if we can get through here. Try to jump and uh, go around and look out for who's hiding. No. <laughs> well, I tried to see if I could get through Spinel hiding with that that uh, dynamo, but I didn't really have a clear path. The Rainmaker, it's really up to you and your teammates to work together to get that thing going, because if you don't have a path set out for you, you're on your own, trying to get that going. Okay, let's see if we can stop this squid kid. There we go. So much easier to aim when I got a big glowing target to aim for. Let's see if 
I can try this. Throw that down just in case. Okay. I'm gonna be the special Rainmaker boy. Go, Rainmaker boy. Swim, swim. And look out for that. <laughs> Man, Spinel playing the uh, the silent waiting game. He no signs that he's there, and then bloop, he jumps out of nowhere and hits that dynamo. This is very similar to a brush play style. He's not flailing it blindly a lot of the time. He's got a good scary style that makes me fear ever stepping out of the shadows. He might just get me. Almost, almost. Ah, ah, I thought I got thought I got her, but uh, Toad took me out. That was so, yeah. I feel like the E-Leader is going to be my biggest thing that I gotta overcome if I'm ever going to use the Splat Chargers, because I'm always going to be outranged. Nope, that didn't work. There we go. Somehow managed to do it. Okay, let's look out. The E-Leader can hit me up here. But maybe I could hit them if they're gonna... There we go! I got him! Yeah! Got him right by the little tip top of their head. Okay. Got a long way to go as a sniper, but uh, let's see if we can try our best. Oh man, I really wanted to push through and help that guy out. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Let me see if I can jump in and help him. In the last moments here, they've got a huge lead. I was happy that I got that E-Leader and uh, slowed him down a little bit, but there we go. I think I got him before their thing went off too, which is very handy. Let's see if we can get in, get around, and uh, spin out. Ah, oh, oh man, I wasn't hiding behind my wall, unfortunately. Ah, oh, come on guys. This is, uh, this is closer than I thought it, oh. We got the lead! Oh my gosh! Yeah! And I like to think and that was because I took out the E-Leader. No. <laughs> Great job. Kind of light blue toothpaste blue team. Whatever you want to call it. The Alpha team or Bravo. I can't remember which we were. I got five splats and Maxi leading the charge with 17 splats. Jake, Joshua Dude, everyone played a part in that. And we managed to pull it off. Jeez. Good job to the other team. Purple team. We did did a good job, but they made it tough. We almost lost by... We had, like, a huge deficit down to the last moment. Held it on in the overtime. Okay, Echo Echo says I should be stacking swim and run speed up for Rainmaker because carrying it makes it go super slow. Yeah, I do have quite a bit of... I got a three subs of swim speed up. Did we? We did make a new group, yeah? Okay. <laughs> we did make a new group, yeah? Yeah? yeah. Sound like Gordon Ramsay for a second there. Okay, let's do tower control. And then what's the map? That was a crazy, crazy come from behind victory that I was not expecting. And uh, Maxi Boy was the Rainmaker. Okay, good job, buddy. You really held on to that. <laughs> he was like, no, it's my golden fish. I'm not giving it up. Arowana, says Oliver. Okay, let's find it. Somewhere there. Okay, one of the first five, the original five maps. And we got, we got Maxi on my team again. He's also using the splatter scope but not the bento version he might prefer the regular it's not the kelp one either i wonder what, i don't remember. oh no he's switching weapons <laughs> we are going to arowana which i think of as being a very charger heavy map it seems like chargers do really well on this i have a lot of trouble using my brushes on this map because there's uh there's not too many ways to to get through the middle without having to you know kind of charge through and and break through the line of lasers from the enemy chargers. All right, Agent Splat is going with the kelp version of the splat, or the splatter scope. And I think that one is a sprinkler. And I'm not sure what else. It's hard to remember all of these sets. I, I think there's like 90 something, aren't there? I can't remember. Someone will have to let me know if you can in the chat. All right, so we got a lot of kind of close range weapons. I saw the splatter, the, uh, Splatter Shot Jr., the the whatchamacallit machine, the blee blah blooper, no, the uh, <laughs> Luna Blaster. I'm trying to remember the names of some of them too when I'm also trying to get in here and uh, stop the onset of Team Blue making their way downtown. Oh, here they come. They're making their way downtown, walking fast, getting splats. What if I can kind of go underneath here and... Uh, get out of the way, because I knew someone was going to get in there. Let's see if we can charge up, though, here, because I'm in a bad way. My ink my ink is low, but my spirits are high. I'm going to try my best here. Look out! 
Anybody around? Nope. Yeah, it's tough to tough to charge and charge my ink, I mean. Tough to refill my ink, but also oh that wasn't good. Quick, quick, quick. Gotta wait a little bit. Oh man. Gotta wait a little bit also after. I I think I hit him, but it didn't wasn't charged up enough. Gotta wait a little bit after you throw that splash wall before you even start recovering. That was one of the big nerfs that the splash wall suffered after it was used too much. And it's weird. It's weird how many things in this game were used like next to. They like seemed like they were mostly ignored, and then later on became staples and hugely popular. Like the splash wall is a good example. A lot of people found it useless. Some people say if it can bounce off of a, pine, a palm tree, then it's not very useful. <laughs> it just bounced off the leaves there. But yeah, the uh, the splash wall went from being really underutilized and underrated, I think, to now being one of the uh, the more common things, or at least for a little bit it was, and then they kind of changed things around where it seemed like it... Oh, jeez, that was not worth it. I was like, I'll put a wall over there. It'll be cool. Nope. I got it at the beginning, and I didn't fall in, but then, yeah. But yeah, the splash wall, before the nerfs, it was all over the place. So they did kind of balance it out a little bit, but at the same time, I don't know if it's, uh, it's dwindled in popularity too much. It's still very good. Oh, almost thought I could get that Luna there. Gotta get in here and get some splats. Throw that down. Look out for that kid there. Man, how did they get through my splash? Oh, that was Spinel around the back. I was like, how did that guy get through my splash wall? I had it set there. He just blitzed through. Probably using some, uh, I don't know if he has swim speed up. He just seems really good at maneuvering and uh, swimming with uh, without it even. Swimming very quickly. Uh, really want to get him, especially because he's using the bubbler, the bane of my existence. Where's he going? Up top? Almost. Okay, somebody got him. Good, good, good. Get that guy out. Oh, jeez. Now I'm in a bad way here. Let's see if we can get up onto the tower. Oh, no, no, no. Ah! I was trying to ink the tower, but I couldn't in time, and then it just took me away into the drink. And that was the end of me. Okay. Let's see if we can get around here and start a wall, because I know... We got people heading. Man, almost had them there. Jeez, I gotta get my ink going. Well, where are they? Jeez, are they able to hit so far away? Where are they even? Oh. Nope, they're right there. And I'm in a bad spot. Jeez, they know that I am horrible at charging, so they're getting right up in my face, and I can't counter it very well. We, uh, we don't actually have... The tower's being almost ignored by the blue team in ways, though, so it doesn't seem like we're in that bad of a, a spot here. I'm just really paranoid that we're going to get rocked by people sneaking around like that squid kid down there. Trying to trying to just get in and, uh, and get me with his blaster. There we go. All right. <laughs> Lay off me, guys. <laughs> it felt like I was getting ganged up on for a while there. Okay. Let me see. Oh, did we take the lead? We did! And this is one we really want to push if we can. Let's see if we can get in there. And look out, because they're going to be pushing around that side. They're going to be all over the place here. There we go. And look out. Ooh. I got to get my stuff charged up, or we're going to be in a bad way. Trying to dodge these splat bombs and get in there. Oh, oh my gosh. Bomb, bomb sniffer, save me. And then if we can just hold this for the last few seconds, we should be okay. Oh my gosh. Hold it on the last couple seconds here. There we go. All right, we got it. They tried to bubble at the end. I think uh, I think the blue team did uh, a little bit too much splatting. We'll have to see. They look like they, they, beat, they, you know, wiped us a bunch of times, but they weren't pushing on the tower, and the name of the game is Tower Control. 21 splats on Maxi, jeez. And a good amount on the, the blue team, but it seemed like they had had some uh, some troubles getting on the tower and getting that going. Alright, Hans just bin binge-watched Pikmin 3, the playthrough that I did a couple of years back. That was my first Wii U game, speaking of the Wii U that we're playing right now. And, uh, that, yeah, four days to binge that whole thing. That's crazy. Are you okay, buddy? Do you need some sleep? 
What map are we gonna play for Splat Zones? I think this might be the last. No, we got a couple. We can do a couple more matches here. We got some time. I, I tend to try to make these around an hour long, so they're not too long to watch back or or tune in. All right. Let's see. It's hard to get in, says the that one cat. Yeah, it is tough. It fills up very quickly because there's only eight spots, and I'm taking up one of them. But uh, Sloshy Machine says, Hans, I'm sticking with the Bento Splatter Scope tonight. We're going to try our best to uh, to get good with it. Um, so let me see. What map are we doing? Let me make sure we're, we're going to try something that we haven't done tonight. I keep mentioning how su whenever I see Mahi, I'm like, summer's over. It's almost fall. We need a good fall and winter and a couple other season themed maps once we, once we get a sequel here. I think Tr Camp Triggerfish kind of makes me think of summer, but also fall and stuff going camping and everything and uh yeah let's see maybe we'll, let's do camp triggerfish since that's uh another one that i think of when uh when the summer is ending all right but yeah i'll uh I'll keep an eye on the chat here if people have suggestions what other maps and stuff you want to see and next week i will be uh i'll go back to switching weapons and stuff next weekend next splatter day night live I will switch it up a little bit. I know we're mostly charging, but that's that's kind of how I wanna I wanna cover the new weapons. They're not new anymore, but they're new to me. I haven't played with them yet. But yeah, I wanna I wanna try to get good with them, so I'm just focusing on those. So next weekend we will do another Splatter Day stream with uh with just a random stuff, you know, whatever weapons you guys want to see or whatever weapons I think I can do a little better with. And then if I look at the calendar here. The, uh, the weekend after that is the 1st of October, and I don't think I'm going to be able to stream, actually, because there's a tournament going on. If you watch Smash, uh, somebody found out about a tournament that's actually close to me, and I'm going to go to it, Rumble in the Tundra 6. I didn't realize there was a decent-sized uh, Smash community in Buffalo. I had no idea. And I'm going to do my best to, uh, to get in there and play. I need to go with some locals, because there's a couple local tournaments that I have not tried you know, getting in on. But, uh, ooh, that's not Rainmaker or Tower Control, so there's not anything in the center for me to do that with. And that's very tough to... Nope. <laughs> that's very tough to throw that over the other side, so I should not be doing that. Jimbles with the fresh squiffer and all that run speed up. Great combo there, because then they can jump around and be like... That's, that's the type of charger that I want to play, I think. I just really need to get better at it. I wish the Bamboozler was a, a little closer to that, because that would be... My my preferred weapons look with playstyle, I think. Where did that crack? Man, that cracking got in there and then just immediately got destroyed, it seemed like. Try to watch out for any of the... We got Jeremy on my side this time. Try to watch out for any rival chargers bursting in here. Let's throw another one of those down. Get both of those going. Got a good wall going. Try to get mine ready as soon as it's ready to go. Keep us alive here. Oh, almost thought I could do that. We took the lead. Jeremy's freaking out. Look out, Jeremy. There's a Kraken on your tail. <laughs> He's too busy looking at me and not the Kraken. Let's see if these guys will come after me or they'll go for the zone. That guy just jumped right off the edge. So that's not going to help. <laughs> oh, no. <nope. laughs> well, I put my wall up. Man, flipping out. I can't even read your name, AJ. He's just blooping all over the place like a regular bloop trooper. But anyways, what I was just saying was... uh. That weekend of the 1st and 2nd of October, I don't think I'm going to be able to stream, really, because I'll be busy at a local tournament. I thought they were just down there. Hmm. This is going to be tough to get the zone back, since they're all up in the mix here. Let's see if we can stop them, though. Oh. Hmm. They're going to break my wall and then try to push back in in a second. Got to be careful. Let's see if we can slow the Kraken down a little bit. That wall's still there. Jeez. They managed to keep it from... It managed to keep from being destroyed. There we go. All right. Finally got some of them. Got to look out for the squiffer, though. Just easing its way in there. Getting close. Are you still around here, Mr. Squiffer? Miss Squiffer, rather? Let's be careful now. They're pushing in a lot of ways. Just saw... Somebody around the side there. The Squiffer, surprisingly good range still for a close range sniping weapon. Try to cover our trail a little bit as I build up my wall again. Where are they going? They're 
doing a really good job at hiding out of the way when they're vulnerable. I gotta learn some things from, uh, I can't remember their name now, Jimbles, the little squiffer that could. I'm trying to get the zone covered as much as I can. Okay, get the wall going. I thought we had the zone here, but it doesn't seem like it yet. Go, go, go. Where is that coming from? It was like shooting the other way, it looks like. That was weird looking. All right, let me see if I can get around to cover the zone. Because we almost have, there we go. We're in control. Come on, come on, come on. Let's keep in control here. Let's see if we can kind of sneak and uh, get the kid up there. Nope, they're gone. <laughs> I thought they were still around, but they're not. Oh, almost. Charge it up and nope. <laughs> I gotta get my aim down a little better. My snap and snap and go. Do they have multiple squiffers? Because it looks like it. And somebody's pushing in on the side. They got their Inkzuka. Jeez. This is gonna be rough. Holding on to this. We do have a pretty decent lead, though. Can we get him? Good, good, good. Okay. Even if I don't get him, as long as somebody does. Get that zone. There we go. <laughs> this is rough. Jeremy. Jeremy's trying to He's got his arm up. He's saying, hey, I'm going to say, come on, and just rock out. I always forget there's little poses that you do when you do the emotes. Oops. Threw that into the water there. Let me stop this squid kid here. Nope. <laughs> I really wanted to get the person jumping in, but AJ was just going too crazy. They're flipping out again. They got all those beacons as well. They're probably using the normal Octobrush. If it looks like... Ooh, nope. How about we slow that Kraken down a little bit? Jimbles with the uh, the nice Squiffer Kraken. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, they lost control. I'm losing control here. And... Oh, man. Not fast enough. Somebody got him, though, at least. All right, we did it. Good job, green team. Okay. Last match of the night, guys. Where are we headed for tower control? This is going to be our final one. Maybe my final one with the charger for a while, because as much as I enjoy trying to get better, I only got one splat. I feel like I'm I'm not helping my team as much as I could be, so we're going to hang up the chargers after this match for a little bit. Tower control. Let me get a new group here. It's going to be tower control on what's the map you guys want to see. I'm going to go with the chat suggestions, and that will finish up the stream. Thank you guys so much again for tuning in for another Splatterday Night Live. I think this is three weeks of it now, not counting the global or the summer splatdown test fire we did before. So I've been doing my best to kind of stick to that schedule. I've actually been kind of sick this week, so I had to had to recover my voice a little bit. I was gonna do some Twilight Princess, and I was like, I don't think I can voice Zant with uh, or Oko or any of the <laughs> weird characters in that with my voice all messed up. But I am feeling better now. Hopefully, you guys can't hear it in my uh, in my words, but doing a little better and I think we're good flounder heights says Moosick, and uh, that one cat wants to see walleye I see a couple of people with flounder heights all right this is probably be a good map for me to snipe on I think we'll go with that we did do kelp dome earlier Chris if you want to couple of people want kelp dome we did did play that earlier so if you want to you know if you missed the other parts of the stream this will go up as a video and if you're watching it as a video thank you I appreciate you being here even if it's not live <laughs> All right, if you guys want to leave a like, we're getting close to the end, and we'll finish up. We are full on friends, but if you want to send a friend request, again, it's Nintendo Network ID Swimmy Bird right there at the top of the blue team, and mention Splatoon, please, so I know that's what you want to play. Tomorrow night, we will have the Smash stream, and uh, I'm going to get some practice in, because I only have a couple weeks here till I have to do a real tournament, and it's scary. I've only done one of those so far. Okay, here we go. Tower control on the old apartments here. It feels like they're old. They're not really that old, though. Look at that. It looks like I'm shooting mustard up the walls. That looks like a gross food fight. Okay, let's see if we can get in here and find a good spot. Usually people like to go over there and kind of jump up the side, so I'm going to back up a little bit and see if we can move the camera. Okay, well, the tower's going, so probably shouldn't spend a lot of time over there. I could probably do a little bit more helping people on the tower. There they go. Nope. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm also, I'm going. 
I'm not quite out, but I'm trying. Are they chasing me with their brush? Where are they? <laughs> I'm gonna try to get back up a different way, I guess, because that didn't work out. <laughs> I tried to get close to the tower and get up in there, but failed me by getting that brush in my face and I wasn't able to snipe them. Okay, it looks like they are not quite uh, ready to go here. Let's look out. Don't get in my way, Josh, or we're both gonna go. <laughs> I can't snipe if uh, if I can't hit the target. Let's get out of here before the Kraken lands on me. Here they go. They're gonna jump around the side and maybe, just maybe, hang out for me to get them. Oh, they left. Or are they? Did they leave? They didn't. Oh, no! Man, I missed. Yeah, charging up after I miss an initial hit, if I have to charge up again, it's very risky. It feels like it's like 50-50 or for me, maybe like 25-75 chance to actually get them before they can get me because they're so much closer and ready to uh, to splat. All right, go, 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 go. Up the maintenance door, around the side. I'm going to try to get on the tower possibly here because I don't know if I'm doing as much from where I'm at. Especially when that happens. Let's see if we can throw a wall down and watch out for this little guy. Wherever they went, they jumped away. All right, tower, tower, tower. Jumping in here. Oh man! Again with the uh, with the little inkling, with the brush. Where'd they go? Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> They're behind me. It's Billy. Billy. I don't think we played many matches with him, but Billy is uh, is a beast at this game. We got so many good players, but Billy still really stands out as being one of the best. And uh, if I get any splats on Billy, I always feel really good because I'm like, yeah, I had to earn that. Okay, let's see if we can stop AJ, the inkling with the brush, the ink brush menace. Okay, I need to get on the tower. I think I could probably do a lot more to help out the squid squad. Oh man, I'm losing it. I wanted to get onto the tower, but I'm not going to be able to try to do my best to uh, snipe here, though. If I can, they're going around probably and getting close enough in. Wow, that was lucky. All right, are they on the tower, or can I get on here? Oh, we're in trouble. Billy's Billy's on the hunt. I can tell. <laughs> I can hear his blaster. Billy's blaster, the newest weapon. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> Has a nice ring to it. Oh, no, that's Billy. <laughs> he dropped a bomb and and hid. He's freaking out. The camera is stuck in the tower. We did. I did get a nice splat on the enemy charger, so I'm happy about that, but I'd like to finish with it with a good push with the tower and hopefully we'll do okay despite facing off with Billy here. I should get up heat on the one. Well, the tower's going anyways. I was just gonna say, this is the spot that I need to run to if I wanna try to defend the tower and Keep it safe from whoever's jumping over there. Nope. Not if Billy's got anything to say about it. He's, he can hit me from down there. It's going to be very tough to uh, do much here. Ooh. Let's see if we can outsmart the Kraken a little bit. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Where did they go? Man, the camera's all crazy. We're still around here somewhere probably, right? Okay. Nope. This is gonna be bad if they get that going. Okay. Billy's gonna drop on us with his blaster. I can tell! <laughs> I can sense these things. <laughs> I need to get in a better spot. Who's that down there? It's Billy! Where's he going? He's around the side, isn't he? Oh! Almost! 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 Can I get Billy? Please, please, please! I gotta save my buddy. Where are you, Billy? Let me splat ya. We got the lead. I just need to... Oh no, Josh! You stole my Billy kill! <laughs> oh no! Oh well, we should focus on the tower. They didn't take the lead. I think we got it. Alright. I at least got the enemy, the enemy charger. Enemy sniper there. That was tough. I got really distracted by trying to take out the, the champ, Billy. <laughs> Alright. And Jimples was my team. We had some good players. They really held down the fort and made up for my one splat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, look at Billy and Maxi. I feel like have the highest splat counts looking back on things for the most part. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. We are finishing up for the week here, and next week we'll be back to it and, you know, have another Splatter Night Live. We're keeping it up every week here 
on the Swimming Bird channel. <laughs> Alright, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time for more weapon variety and more Splatoon. Goodbye.